Hello, my name's Tim Eaglin. I run a company called Time Capsule Education. We normally go all across the country and give kids stories to write. We're creative writing consultants. But these are odd times. You're shut down, we're shut down. So I'm here to give you a hand to offer you some tips to get your kids writing at home and hopefully enjoy the process. Of all the subjects you can be doing at home with your kids, writing is probably the trickiest. It's the only one that you really need to sit down with a blank piece of paper or a blank computer screen and write or type. Most others, you can get up, go about and do things. You can do mathematics in the garden or in the kitchen. You can do arts and crafts all over the place. It never really feels like work. Writing feels like work most of the time. So we've got to try and find easy ways to achieve that. You need to have things to write about. If it's story writing you're interested in, which is mostly what I focus on, you need to have a good understanding of the story. You need to have played through the story. So maybe get out the Playmobil, the Lego, all the Sylvanian families and make up a story. Those toys are really good actually because you can use them to make storyboards on your, uh, with an iPad or a mobile phone. A series of photographs that go together to make up the action that the kids are going to write about. Video games can be used as, a, as some kind of stimulus if you spend a little more time looking at the worlds that the game is set in rather than the action. A lot of the time, most video games these days have very deep immersive worlds. Um, the kids who play them often completely ignore that because they're only interested in shooting the bad guy. But if you use a video game as a, a great way of getting out of the house and walking around a, a foreign city or a deep forest or a desert, then you've got a great way of get starting the kids to think about where a story takes place. If you've got Minecraft players at home, Minecraft is a brilliant way of building your own worlds, your own locations, and filling them full of different creatures and, uh, and characters that the kids can also write about. So whenever they're building and they've spent time in a video game, get them to write about something afterwards. One of the biggest issues that we have in schools across the country uh, children not using a wide enough vocabulary. Looking at all sorts of different language, playing games to help build words, get the old Scrabble set out and start talking and making your home a language rich environment. Think about different ways of expressing things, get out dictionaries or if you've got a thesaurus kicking around, they're really useful things to have. But when you're writing, don't go over the top, less is more. And if you use too much in a way of uh, powerful vocabulary and rich language, what ends up happening is your piece of writing it just becomes a written thesaurus and doesn't really engage a reader. So it's very important to try and get that balance. Hey. I know many of you will be concerned about the spelling, the punctuation and the grammar and your kids have probably already been coming home for some time now using expressions that you don't remember being taught in school. My personal feeling about this is don't get hung up on that kind of thing. Actually, you, there are all sorts of resources around to help your kids identify fronted adverbials or, or um, subordinate clauses. The most important thing from my point of view is to get right in and to enjoy the process. So don't get hung up on that. Focus on the story and getting something written. We can always go back and tweak. We've got the luxury of time now and a writing process takes time. Don't worry about your kids writing page after page. It's far more important that they write half a page and then you go back with them and they reread it and actually read through and make sure it makes sense. The editing process in writing is just as important as getting words down in the first place. If the words you've written down page after page after page make no sense at all, what was the point? So after every half a page or so, stop, go back, reread it and then look to improve. A great way to make a, a piece of story writing more engaging is to use all of your senses. Encourage your child to actually think about what a place looks like, sounds like, smells like, feels like, and even tastes like. Well, actually that one is pretty tricky. But certainly, if they start to think about all those things in a piece of writing, it becomes far more believable. Believe it or not, writing ought to be an enjoyable process. One of my favourite authors was Sir Terry Pratchett and he once very famously said writing is the most fun you can have by yourself. And I completely agree with that. If you're going to not have a great deal of fun, jack it in. Go and do something else for a little while. 
make some cakes, do some artwork and come back to it afresh. Okay, so I hope you find some of that useful. Don't stress yourself too much. If we go for smaller quality pieces of writing, find something you like to write about. And more importantly, find something your kids like to write about. If you're looking for help uh, or advice or resources, do come and find Time Capsule Education's page on Facebook at Time Capsule Ed or on Twitter at Time Capsule Ed. We've got various things that you can try out there and our YouTube channel has got all sorts of stories that will help with kids too. We'll have writing activities up on our YouTube channel this week as well, so do check that out. Thanks for having me. I'll see you again. Cheers. Thank you.